The Rebecca Varea Foundation, an organization dedicated to educating teens about the dangers of speed driving, celebrated their 10th anniversary at the Palisadia Banquet Hall in Cliffside Park on Saturday night, where nine honorees received the Rebecca Varea Foundation Humanitarian Award. Honorees included U.S. Senator Robert Menendez, who did not attend, and West New York Police Director Robert Antelos. The organization was founded by Dr. George and Lourdes Ferreira, Rebecca's parents, back in 2005, shortly after their daughter was tragically killed in a car accident in North Bergen, hours after she graduated from Cliffside Park High School. Other dignitaries in attendance included West New York Mayor Felix Roque, along with Town Commissioners Cosmo Cirillo and Gabriel Rodriguez, as well as their running mates for the May election, Susan Calacurcio and Margarita Guzman. Calacurcio has been involved with the Rebecca Varea Foundation for years. Dr. Varea, the president of the organization, took the podium at the PAC venue to talk about his journey over the past decade. And over the years, we began to see how young men and women began to think about safety differently. We walked into auditoriums full of high school teens that were driving fast and not thinking about the safety behind the wheel when they became the passenger. And they began to cry with us and hug us at the end of those conferences. Sometimes we had a whole auditorium full of every team in that high school. And we shared so many stories. And that was the journey that we had embarked on. You see, that city began to change minds and be fruitful and began to have the harvest that we share here today. So let's reflect as we begin the spring with new hope. Let's reflect on what our life is and what our challenges may be. And let's continue to support this foundation so that we can have a safer tomorrow for so many teens. And I promise you that we'll deliver on our promise. He also spoke to Hudson County View to further reflect on his humanitarian efforts. You know, we started with uh, safe driving, looking at teens, convincing them that safety and behind the wheel is important, that you have to avoid distractions, that you have to take decisions and know that when you're in a vehicle driven by somebody else, you're also responsible. And we began with that thought and uh, we have created over the years a tremendous uh, awareness. And now not only have we been to schools, hundreds of schools over the last decade, but we have our symposium every year, which is coming up in five weeks, where seven, eight hundred teens from all over the area, high schools come to our event, and within four or five hours, their lives have changed. So we're just gonna keep doing this, and hopefully change lives and make this world a safer place for teens. What do you think your biggest achievement has been at this time frame here? Well, I think uh, to me it's been the challenge of losing a daughter. Uh, I think the lesson that even in our darkest moment, uh, when you want to see the light, it's always there. Uh, you know, look at your own life. Wherever you've been in a very difficult point in your life, realize that often it is a tragedy that can bring the best in all of us. Antelos and Roque both praised the Varea family's efforts when addressing the crowd on hand. It's the greatest of all the states to do nothing because you can only do a little. Do what you can. One person can make a difference and every person should try. I'd like to quote the late JFK, one earth, one vision, together we build a brighter future. This is happening with the Rebecca Vieira Foundation. Individuals working together, saving lives, working with each other, spreading knowledge, using real life experiences and foresight to our future leaders, our children and young adults. To save just one life makes it worth the effort. The thing is, that every year I come, I always say the same thing. Um, to me, Dr. Correa and Lucas are mentors. Uh, they're doing the right thing for the community, and I wish there were more people like them to help the youth in this country, but they're not. The children need to know 
the hassles of driving or texting or drinking. And, and you know what? You are the one that is bringing the light out to our city. To our so, George Lucas, thank you. I'm John Hytus with the Hudson County View, the eye of the community.